Hey everybody, Arco here, back bringing you some more card skip gaming. We are on game number 23 of the series, as we unfortunately see one uh, player not ready up here. Lots of portals spread out evenly this time around. Uh, going into the game, we are at uh, 14,100 and something FFA points. We do see a Europe claim. I know for a fact we won't be able to hold Australia that much. So I wonder if we try... <laughs> I wonder if North America's... The North America turtle is a possibility. We recently just had an Africa turtle game. So that could be fun. When the bot takes the portal in front of us, that's actually ideal. Because I know there's no way I'm going to be holding the North America bonus here. We will claim the border territories for ourselves, just to disincentivize a good uh, North America cap spot from our opponents. These are the settings for the series. Still nothing has changed since the uh, Addition to stable portals, and here are the players for this game. With myself being in the third position, and a neutral bot being added into the last position. Alright. So we're obviously never going to hold North America, but nobody else is near us. So this is essentially, because there's a portal right beside the cluster of nor Northern Asia territories that we usually cap in, and there's a portal here where we're looking to go in the Eastern United States, we're in similar connectivity to the portal, so... It would be nice to see reds look in Australia, purples look in either Africa or South America, honestly. Oh, it'd be awesome if the neutral bot caps in one of these territories in front of us. And we can both share the continent together. As we'll see everybody else go to war. Yeah, just like the last game showed, we are getting to that uh, point in the skill point slash elo system where if we have a lobby full of extremely low elo opponents, then our, um, our gains for second place are almost non-existent, which is good. That's how it should be. But that, that will be another added RNG factor with the no filtering. And the reason why I don't bother with any filtering is that the lobby already takes a decent amount of time to fill up anyways without filtering. I can't imagine what it'd be like with any sort of filtering. Maybe uh, filtering out novices as a beginner to GM wouldn't make too, too much of a difference, but... Anything more than that, the lobby would, I imagine, wouldn't really fill that quickly. So we may look into doing that in the future, depending on how the next bit of the clamp goes. But so far, we're still trudging along nicely. We are, I believe, master rank is at 16,000 points, so 
We are nearing that threshold already. We are on game Oh, I really hope the neutral bot and I share cap locations in North America. Here we go, the territory. Her troop deployment is over now. Purple does go in South America. They act first, so that cap isn't too bad. Blue goes Iceland. Red goes Siam. Green does take Middle East. And no, the neutral bot takes our sp usual spot in northern Asia not normally in Siberia of course but in that general area nonetheless so we'll see if any of uh, green or red get tempted by that cap purple does open the game by taking SA and guarding it strong that is a good first turn from them Did not lose any on the attack. Always got to watch out for funny rolls. That is why I usually prefer uh, true random with no fog, of course. Doesn't take Europe this turn. And it takes Australia. Depending on the kind of players red and purple are, we may see a uh, international portal hopping duel there. Oh, <laughs> green losing four troops on a one and halting their Africa taking progress. There's the neutral lot coming in. Their troops. <laughs> Placing more towards their cap and not near us. Trusting a three on one and true random and failing. So now they'll take a card through the portal. Or the card skip. Hey! <laughs> also, not a terrible move. Still doesn't take Europe just yet. Maybe one of those players that's waiting for a 10 trade. Maybe guard it some more. With their cap in Iceland, they may have been expecting more of an attack or threats from myself. But luckily for the blue player, we are going to be the one of the more passive, quote unquote, NA players <laughs> that he'll ever have be neighbors with, most likely. And what does Red trust to get a card with? 
Five on one, ninety seven per cent. See it. All right, they do win the attack, but we do take out one troop with them as they wisely fortify back through the portal back onto their cap there. All right, let's green continue the Africa take. Not yet. Purple take a card this turn. They do into Asia. They don't hit the nine cap in Asia. That's smart. Cap doesn't really do much. And blue now decides to take Europe for themselves. Do leave an open guard. Trusting the four on one, that's 92% in true random, but it does succeed. Ooh, and green does break blue immediately. And fortifies right back. Let's see another easy take from purple here. Through the stable portals. They do leave a three in Africa though. We'll see how green feels about that shortly. Blue does retake Europe. And continues to not bother guarding it. We are getting to the point in the game where possible 10 trades could change some stuff up, depending on if people want to go really aggressive or not. So far, everyone's playing it fairly nice with one another, which I'll repeat myself again throughout the series. In theory, this is bad for us in the super long run, but we will once again see how long the other players can keep that peace amongst themselves.
Bible does get another card in Africa. They do open up Green's Cap towards them. Interestingly enough, as they do leave a small army in Africa for this time. And we will once again reclaim Europe for themselves. Going to be holding five cards. Red's cap has a nice uh, extra buffer around it, so their main focus of defense will be that Eastern Australia portal. At least for the time being. <clears throat> Green also with no trade on, or not trading in on four, does continue to break blue in Europe. Everyone holding four or five cards now. Purple also not trading in on four. Interesting. So we are now going to see four trade-ups in a row here. Ten trade coming in for blue. Trusting the six on one. And does successfully reclaim Europe. Everyone's playing super patient so far. Do you gotta respect that? is now going to look to some of our ones in North America here to get their cards. They place their seven stack back on the portal, interestingly enough. Green with the six trade on five. Breaks blue again. And do they look to take the cap? They do take the cap in Asia with a very good roll by Capital Conquest standards. And they are going to do a split guard. This means the neutral bot will now be getting three troops adding instead of five. Meaning we will now be the higher troop count neutral bot in the game. <laughs> so greens caps are a little low. We'll see if anybody tries to use some portals or head through North America to try and take back or take one of those caps for themselves. Or 
Rebel does hit the seven. And they take, oh, and just like that, they take the Siberia cap for themselves. That cap's now a 25. They do try and block their South America with only a four. Blue attacks down to Africa, which opens up purple's 20. So they continue to take a card and pass. Trying to go for the South America break, failing a 6 on 4, but then uses their 30 stack to do it successfully. And they fortify back to Australia. Green now a little low on troops, does trade in on 3. Immediately lose two troops on a one. Gonna take South America back. And they do keep their six army in Argentina as an attempt to hold it. Red will be able to continuously break. And if the conflict between red and purple continues, and green stays low, blue could have enough of advantage to take the strongest board position soon. But that'll depend on a lot of stuff. Red does break South America again, but they lose 12 troops in the process. Not a great roll from the red player. trade in and keeps a 12 stack now on Argentina red does have five cards though blue with the trade up as well Let's take Europe back once again. And they are likely going to try and guard this time. They move some troops off their cap to help fortify. 
making a 25 in Ukraine. Green can still break by hitting the 3 in Southern Europe, if they so choose. Red with the 10 trade on 5 cards. Let's see if they continue to break purple. And they do, they get a about even roll that time. The arms race continues. Ooh, green does break blue through the hitting the three, but they end up losing eight troops hitting that three. Not ideal for them. There goes a whole trade's worth of troops right there. And while there is uh, a lot of, uh, well, not too much this game, but a good amount of early conflict happening, even though there is some of that. Ooh, lose, purple losing four troops on a one there. Um, this game is showing that even with a solid amount of passive play from all the players, at least more than average in terms of uh, ranked game standards go as going. Even without taking cards, I am keeping pace with uh, everybody. And that is because of all the... Uh, or most of the early game conflicts and cap trades that have happened. Losing three troops on a one, they're getting some awful dice. taking a card in Asia this time around instead of trying to reclaim their bonus. Blue has been trusting six on ones a lot. Not 100% roll in true random, so let's see if that Eventually catches up with them later on in the game. They do fortify from Ukraine to Southern Europe. We're going to trust a three on one. They do, and it just succeeds. Not as much early game action as the other games on average, so. 
This game will uh, increase the uh, split average by a lot here. And if this ends up being one of the super long games, this may bring the average game time well back up above an hour. claiming gear up for themselves it's the umpteenth time in a row and they fortify a portion of their stack back to cap from red attacking the two remaining territories in South America. And green gonna break blue for the umpteenth time in a row. Or the same card trading. As blue is continuing to keep his capital roughly even with mine.
red decides to break blue this turn instead of green. That's something different. Is green ever going to try and claim Africa for themselves? They have a portal in Africa, though. They're going to have to rely on everybody in the game to be nice enough to not break it. Just takes the card in Egypt and passes. Alright, neutral bot turn. Update. This is the 14th round here. Yeah, not too much has changed since the start of the game. Had a few uh, attacks on the Siberia cab. Those have shifted a bit. But both of them ended up being really good rolls, so. That didn't allow too much shift in power from any of the players here. Interesting. Blue elected to hit a 1 instead of the red 4 to reclaim their bonus, which is understandable. Who's back to Australia? Ooh, ah. Pardon me. Green does take a card in Afghanistan this turn. significance of that is that this does block them from attacking the uh, Asia territories directly. They'd have to go around through their portal in Africa now. Unless things do change up soon. <laughs> does retake their South America back, but they don't bother guarding, since they know uh, red will likely just break them. Blue takes Europe again, and will likely be broken by green. Red does indeed continue to break purple.
thing continues to break blue, along with continuing to get bad dice. And the cycle continues. Blue can attack North Africa now instead. They lose four troops hitting that one. Red, black, and purple again. Green now has their cap fully locked. I wonder if blue will hit a different territory this time to get a card. Maybe Congo? Nope, they're going to open it back up again. They do keep the 26 in the path. Okay. Green does have a 3 to use in Madagascar. That's been sitting there for a while. Probably from a past trade at some point. Red bricks purple again. Fortifies right back. Using up a lot of their clock this turn. Are they going to be the first ones in the game to give up patience here? It might be. There's the first neutral deployment. They are offline for now. So in about 10 minutes time, if green player is still offline, oh, they are back. They have returned. <laughs> Purple 
claims Australia, South America. And they do leave a stack there. 35 troops. Red does have five cards, and they have been shown to smack the troops there. Blue once again tries to claim Europe. Comes red with the trade up. Do we see our first big stack hit in a while? <clears throat> Looks like it. They're hovering Eastern Australia territory. 80 on 35. Hey, there it is. Red losing 42 troops to do that. And that now catapults me to second place in the troop count. Woo! <laughs> Progress! Yeah! <laughs> ah, yeah. We like to see it. Green returns back into the game a turn later to break blue. Their conscience wouldn't allow them to do otherwise. And what's happening now? Is Green taking Africa? They do not. They're just grabbing an extra territory. Has purple had enough? No, they're not going to retaliate. Whoa, hello. They leave a three cap. Interesting. Blue's army, it doesn't have access to take that this turn. So they will do... The surprising move of trying to <laughs> reclaim Europe. <laughs> uh. Well, this will be an interesting turn from Red here. The portal in Africa is owned by Red, so they can't swoop in to take the three cap. But will they tr will they decide to hit a forty <laughs> a forty nine? Oh, they have a trade on three. They have a trade on three. They're going for the three cap, and they succeed. How many do they fortify? I personally would fortify the whole thirty seven stack over to the cap, but they decide to do a split guard and leave it as a twenty. Gonna bait purple into hitting a 20 and then maybe using their 37 stack to come in and take it right back. This will all depend on the rules here. Green once again breaking Europe. <laughs> Here comes the response from the purple player. Do we see a cap hit? Do, and they lose 33 on it. As far as cap hits go, that's not too, too bad. 
And that's a little bit high cap for red to come back and hit it. So we are likely going to be heading back to the same, uh, same position. Blue electing to card skip. They do have a path through North America in terms of Greenland, Northwest Territory, Alaska, Kamchatka, and to Mongolia, taking the portal into any one of the southern positions here, anticipating another cap hit coming from red, maybe, or from green. Green has showed earlier that they were willing to try and get some extra caps for themselves. But even though that blue stack looks blocked in front there, they are in an offensive position. But one thing that will remain the same is that red <laughs> will break purple South America bonus. Electing to not hit the cap, but instead takes Africa for themselves. There we go, they're doing a soft guard, although the portal is open there. Where's blue stack going? We see the 10 trade. Where is it charging into? It's the neutral bot 20 and heads into South America. Takes the South America cap for themselves, losing 40 troops in the process. Red, who's been smacking purple all the game since well played. <laughs> Interestingly enough, that move by going through the Neutral bot 20 instead of the few ones does open blue's cap to me. Fortunately for blue, I am card skip gaming. <laughs> but we will see uh, if red decides to take the cap now through the portal. If not, green most certainly will. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Another offensive move leads us back into the troop lead. Comes to 8 on 2, does succeed, and takes the cap. How much do they fortify? Only two troops over there.
Liverpool taking the Europe cap back for themselves. And they are going to try and hold both. The 24 and 25, respectively. Blue takes South America for themselves. We'll see if uh, red is as kind to blue as they were to purple. They appear so. <laughs> and I guess in fairness to blue, he was getting broken by green every single turn. So getting broken by red every single turn doesn't change uh, too much from this game. To my surprise, green has held their Africa bonus and has made... A comeback on the troop department. They fortify a 24 stack in front of Blue's cap. Or new cap, I should say. Blue and purple have done a little musical chairs. Are they coming back for their cap? Okay, looks like they are. They lose 58 doing that. And now blue is one of the weaker players. Oh boy, and now green or red can easily take one of these caps. As blue just says, I don't want any cap anymore. <laughs> As they go off the cap and surrender. So blue... Out of all the people in this game, is the first one to leave. Which is a bit surprising, honestly, given their early passive play and positioning. And now with blue no longer here, red's like, well, I gotta break someone else now. And so now they turn their attention to greed instead. So they leave a 28 there. As they go look to take South America for themselves. And another cap. Or maybe just the cap this turn. Either way, that's good enough. They're going to make their two caps a 30 and 33. And green or uh, blue's 36 is helping guard my troops in North America, funny enough. But 
But their Iceland cap is up for grabs. And green does not take it. So purple could uh, go for another split cap card here, weirdly enough. After my turn here, I will be right back momentarily. Hopefully nothing too major happens. Alrighty, so I am just back in time for my turn coming up here. Doesn't look like I missed too much. The empty cab is now taken. The red did take over South America as well, alright. Everything appears to be working properly still. All right. Excellent. So red and green now are of similar strength. Red sees that and instantly looks to hit green. Oh, green. Going for the aggressive cap hit. And it does not pay off. Oh, 
on the bright side, we're back in the troop lead. <laughs> So this conflict here will allow purple to rebuild a little bit. Red is likely going to break Africa again. They can do it now without opening Green's cap towards themselves. Well, and after all this, it does appear that Red will be the one to end up winning this game, unless some bad dice rolls happen along the line here. Round one does succeed. Nobody has been officially eliminated yet. Not counting uh, MIAs or surrenders, of course. But this will the average time of the first elimination by a lot. <laughs> and green foolishly tries to defend their portal. As red has proven to smack anything in the their portal armies way before. Purple takes over Europe. Green broke blue the entire game. 
So we'll see if uh, green allows purple to hold. I highly doubt it. Red should be breaking both of them here. They may not, though. Oh, our one takes out six troops. What does that do to our KD? Oh, positive three. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like purple is now taken over blue's previous position. Red breaks green, but doesn't break purple. Breaks purple, doesn't do anything to red. Purple opens up green on that side of the board. Although... China still being blocked by that neutral bot purple below 12 territories. They don't defend up any of their caps. Green doesn't have a trade on four. Blue 
We'll see if they go f trade in and go for either Reds South America cap or Purples Europe cap. They open that portal up to green, giving green more possible options here. Here comes the trade. Do they do any offensive moves with it? They break purple. They're going to look to take the South America cap. They do, only losing 20 more. Which is a about average, I'd say. I'm not entirely sure on the numbers fully. But red is signaling revenge. And this is looking really good for purple here. As they can just sit back and watch the fireworks with me. So they hit the cap and then just leave the cap. That doesn't make much sense. Purple's going to take that cap. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. They're currently fortifying not to Siberia. I'm not sure if that was a mistake, but that gives that cap to red or green if they want that one. Red is likely going to hit the Brazil cap. Appears to not have a trade, so they're going to go for the Siberia gap. So now Red owns that one again. I think they owned it before in the past. I can't fully remember. <laughs> Doesn't get a fortify off. Yeah, it doesn't get a quite meaningful fortify, so purple can now look to retake that if they want to.
38B7. Lose 18. Okay. Pathway is still open from Iceland to Brazil. So I can now buff that cap up a bit. They only buff it up to a 30. Portals over. Takes the Siberia cap right back with a really good roll. Only losing 24 troops, hitting a 19 cap. And they are now going <laughs> to split a bit of focus. And we are almost right back to where we were about an hour ago, just no longer including the blue player in the mix. These three players have the determination in them. I gotta give them that credit. As the wars over plus two and plus three bonuses continue. <laughs> Red taking up a bunch of their clock. And they don't quite get a card this turn. Not that that matters too much since this is fixed cards. Green is now eyeing up uh, Blue's 36 stack here, because blue that is uh, four cards sitting there, so it will eventually be worth to kill it, if you get decent rolls on it at least. And it looks like green is working towards that goal now. <laughs> Purple hesitating to take uh, South America back again against the red player. 
because they know they will break them at this point. And trade for red. Timer runs out, and their Australia bonus is now open. See if green or purple end up breaking that for the first time this game, I'm pretty sure. Green's clock is running out, though. Where are they going to be botting out? <laughs> Alright, currently offline. We'll see if they return in the next 10 minutes. Is this purple's moment to break Australia? Finally get revenge on red for all the times they've broken them. They do, they do, they do break Australia. Hollow victory for purple. As they relish in the moment sitting in Eastern Australia. Feeling on, on top of the world. And they're gonna. <laughs> oh no! They get the fortify off. They do split cat. They leave the forty-six in Australia. Well, knowing the red player, let's see what's coming. I got a little bit of a stack hit myself. First, they got a break SA, and then. Oh no, they go for the cap and they take it. Oh, it's now an 18. They could split off. Yeah, they split off their Siberia cap. That's a good choice. Purple is back down to one cap. Green is still offline. Spawns back with a calf hit and wins barely, though. 
And with that cap hit, myself and the neutral bot <laughs> are now first and second in the troop lead. After an hour and a half. Goodness gracious, there's been no official eliminations an hour and a half in. This is definitely a series record. So we are now going to watch these <laughs> two duke it out between South America and Australia again. Oh, really good roll from purple there. As much as we got to credit them for their attempt, they just do not have enough troops, I think. Red has a lot more troops to give in this fight now. If the green player does end up going MIA, Red can then afford to uh, transfer a lot of their troops off the cap into the South America area. Ten trade on three as well. Don't break purple this time. Interesting. So we'll see if red and purple continue the piece here. Green player is still offline.
It's probably going for the Europe hold too. They lose zero against a four. Don't bother guarding it though. Green player officially goes MIA. Leaving a bunch of troops scattered around the board and a 68 cap in the Middle East. Well, we are now down. Oh man. To an unofficial one on one. Even though there has been no official eliminations yet. to Europe, but not South America. Throwing out lots of emotes. trying to signal something to red from the looks of things I don't believe the Euro bonus has held once this game. Well, it's kind of funny that Purple's trying to go for that again now.
I say break happens. Oh, and the cap hit fails. Holy crap. <laughs> Yerp is going to hold for the first time this game. An hour and 42 minutes in. Comes the Siberian stack to break Europe. It is now locked. If as long as purple doesn't open uh, Ural or Mongolia, They do want to try and reclaim and hold Europe here. Oh, but instead they break Australia. <clears throat> they open up the portal though. Are hitting a bunch of red territory. Interesting. We now have all six players occupying at least one territory in North America. That's great. <laughs> this would be the point where I would, under a non-card skipping situation, would uh, leave this North America cap and look to take over at least two enemy capitals here and hold a stronger position on the board and eventually snowball from there. But we are just <laughs> along for the long ride here. As red doesn't get a card. They are offline at the moment. Which will mean another 10 minute delay, possibly. And if that goes through, then purple, against all odds, is going to win this game. And they do see that and take Australia for themselves. Oh. 
Red has returned. Only one turn of not being here, though. Are they going for this cap again? And no, they are not. They fortify all the way back. <laughs> the game continues. Purple keeps opening up the portals, weirdly enough. Not the best idea. Or trade coming in from red. Hit the 18, get a good roll. They don't bother taking Australia back, and they leave their Siam cap unguarded. Purple can now take that nine. And take it right for themselves. Oh, they blitz that into the twenty seven. Interesting. They don't fortify anything off their 20 cap in Iceland. The A cap in Siam is behind a neutral bot 46. They can try the 32 on 16. They do and they lose. They lose the roll. They could still get there, though, with the 33, but they elect not to. Oh, jeez. It's a dead even race, but purple now has the advantage. As long as they don't get any horrible dice rolls themselves, they will be the ones winning the game. <laughs> they, they just card skipped. Oh man. You'll love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back full circle almost two hours in, everybody. <laughs> uh.
Is Red gonna try for the cap hit again? Doesn't look like it. They're gonna pretend that they can hold Australia. Yeah. It's all to the Siam cap. Breaks Australia. Can now fortify that back. And slowly but surely, <laughs> secure their win over the red player. And eventually, the game. They have now hit each other so much that I have a commanding troop lead over everybody. And red locks their stack in. Neutral bot hitting 150 <laughs> on that troop count. First four trade for purple on five cards. Oh, and red officially throws in the flag in the towel, waving the flag, whatever the sayings are. So now purple will win this game extremely slowly but surely. They have a lot of material, <laughs> of material to get through. Trying to figure out what, how, what their next best course of action is. I'd start off by taking Australia at least. Get some more uh, troop generation going. Well, this has been quite the uh, 
Successful North America turtle, if I must say. Two blizzards in there making a nice little uh, cozy place. But despite uh, getting smacked around early, purple does end up taking the eventual victory. So well played to them for sticking through and coming back. Does eliminate the red cap. Gonna see the two hour mark here before the first official elimination. Uh, maybe not yet. <laughs> soon, though, soon. Yeah, and after all the dust settles, the neutral bot and I are still standing strong.
Not quite. Not quite yet. Eight cards are there for the taking. <laughs> Which one does he eliminate first? Neither. Because everybody else is either gone MIA and or surrendered, uh, it doesn't really matter what uh, turn order. Oh, there it is. What order purple kills us all at? Well, if he kills blue right away, this could be a gold split. Come on. Oh, not quite. You can still get it. Go, go. Best split so far you see there is 51.9 seconds. Ah, oh, he doesn't look to be killing blue next, though. Oh, but he could kill green with the cap. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Gold split! We're behind by a whole hour. And a half pace, but we have gold split it into the massive time save. Ah, that's funny. On the neutral bot first. Do see an Asia hold? Just waiting on last two attacks here. Then it'll be purple building up to eventually hit my cap. Which at this point, he'll probably need at least a thousand troops <laughs> to do it safely.
Still gonna be a little while. It'll probably take another eh, 15 minutes, maybe. Depends on how quickly we go through the turns here. goes my ally neutral bot. <laughs> this does quicken the pace up a little bit. Since we don't have to see his territories now. Or his uh, turns now for troop deployment. Doing the card skipping, I could easily cap run here through blue 36 through the multiple caps using some of the portals to reduce the amount of territories I need to attack. Because even in true random, this would be a safe amount, I believe, to hit a 20, 24, 13, 35, and 1 cap. It's kind of funny how he's leaving. <laughs> he's left blue alive this whole time. Not that it, I don't think it matters though for the standings, but. It's funny how Blue was the, f the first one to quit. And his last move was fortifying that 36 off the isolate cap, and there it remains. Frozen in time. Oh, wow! That was an incredible cap hit. What was that? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Yeah, this should be... Yeah, I can't have any chance of doing a cap run anymore, so... This will be the end of the game in a couple, a couple seconds here. One more turn, maybe two.
there's the game. Man. What a... <laughs> the weird time events there. Look at that random gold split on the fastest elimination we've had between 6th and 5th place. All because of those events that transpired. Well, the slow battle ends up working out for us. The North America Turtle earning 550, or 500 battle points. GG's to our opponents, who were two beginners and two intermediates. They had the patience of uh, higher ranked players, honestly, for a while, so kudos to them. Uh, we're going to the game 14,198 points, and we now have 14,547 points. All without taking a card. Until next time, everybody, take care, and cheers for stopping by.